I think we're gonna change that to let's do a women's match. Let's do um let's do hmm. huh. Now let's do you know what I'm gonna do Eve versus Nikki Bella. Oh, that'd be pretty good. I don't know if it's like just me, but I went from really liking Natalia to watching Total Divas and like just really despising her. I, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that way, but like there is no one on Total Divas that I like now. And I kind of hope they don't put AJ or Caitlyn, uh, Layla, any of those ladies on there because I, I really don't like any of them now. Uh, aside from AJ, Caitlyn, Layla, uh, Paige, Emma, Summer Rae, uh, Sasha Banks. Those are all the really good WWE Divas and NXT Divas that I really think are going to get end up, you know, sending the ones that are there now packing. Like, uh, like Oksana. Why she still has a job, I have no idea. Because last night on Raw, it was one of the most embarrassing matches I think I've ever seen in my life. Oksana just like crawled like a cat around Eva Marie and then Jojo just stood on the apron. Didn't even do anything. That'll be interesting. I, I just really hope they all go away except for, like I said, AJ, Caitlyn, those, those ladies. Uh, Tamina! Is somebody I would like to see maybe do something? Alright, that is atrocious looking. I should. No, I don't know. I might keep that. Try to switch it up. And I like how they're gonna do a, uh,. On, they're gonna change the way they do the the superstar threads on the new game. All right. So Eve against. There's the bell. Momentum and pride Nikki Bella. As we get going with some singles competition. And the Starting things off with the neck breaker. That's always fun to start off pretty hot. Woo! That's one way to do it. Holy shit! What a move! Rattling the ring. Curtain call. Gold Dust will be pissed. Huh. Okay. Big spinning slam. body slam type thing. Uh oh. And moon salt. Oh, that was a straight up bitch kick. <laughs> one. Nope. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Saito suplex. Pin again, wear him out. Her out. Side belly to belly. Go to work with that Gracie style arm bar. No, that's not a Gracie style arm bar. I couldn't tell you shit about the Gracies other than that she's married to one. Huge power move. Why she holds her ass? She's going high risk again. Heads up. A tremendous 
Not even a one count? Jesus Christ. Taunt there. And up you go, lady. Come on. Get up. And time for a Hawaiian Smasher. Oh, it's a camera angle. Should have held on to her a little bit. And one, two, three. That was good. I enjoyed that too. I still don't know why she was holding her ass there. I mean, if anything, her back and her ass should have been hurt. But no, she was just holding her ass and kicking her legs in the air. It was weird. Alright, so I'm thinking Eve versus AJ versus Natalia versus Rachel Summerlin for the Divas title at SummerSlam. So we're going to be building that up pretty soon here. Uh, do like maybe three separate singles matches to build up to a, with the winners qualifying going into the thing. So much. All right, enough of that. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got Daniel Bryan against the Big Show. And Kane versus The Undertaker. Any other time, I would say let's do it, but it's NXT, so near. One cool thing, though, is about the next game is uh, the NXT title is going to be on 2K14, so we'll be able to have title matches here on. Uh, let's do Santino against uh, Hunico. Hunico, I think, is about to be released because he hasn't been seen in a long time. I want to say maybe about a year. That's not good. But, who knows. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I haven't slept all day and I just got home from work, so I am bored to tears. At work. That was god awful. Come on. Did it freeze? No, it's still moving. Okay, I can't sit through Funiko's entrance. I'll fall asleep. I'm ready for this. Oh shit! What the fuck? Whoa! What's going on here? What a sneaky attack! Wow. That was interesting. I guess Hunico's got to win now. I think it's safe to say, King, that he's not, or not. 100% after that brutal assault before the match started. And yeah, sliding H. So sliding Hunico. There's the Bulldog. And again with the Bulldog. Bulldog the fuck are you? Come here, Kofi. Kind of Santino right now, King. Well, generally speaking, I don't... Oh, my gosh. Big oh, he disappeared. What the hell is Hunico doing? to be shown here. Wow. I have no idea what Hunico just did there. Fuck him. He's getting a foul driver. 
Let's see what's that. Oh, right on the spine. This match is being televised around the world. Gallows pull. And this, this road could end in a count out. And we're going back between the ropes. Fucking oh, Lariat. Maybe in trouble after that. Luna goes in. And there's another STO. Judo throw the STO. Can he capitalize? Ouch. And Santino with a sliding S. Yes, I know everybody has a sliding move. Right. That's the cool thing. Now, everybody saw Masato Tanaka do the sliding D. And then Christian started doing it. And now everybody else is doing it. Well, he's a great competitor. But I think I see why he kept that face behind a mask for so many years. And top rope arm drag. Going to start working on the head because he's got that choke sleeper. Oh, we got blood. And here comes the Gotch style pile driver. He's looking at it. Time to get up. Each of these watch it. And now we got the choke sleeper. He might tap out after that, especially after that pile driver where he bounced. All right, suck a dick, Kofi. Your interference didn't work. Santino did it. Santino did do it. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. Let's take a look at some of the big moments. So I'm thinking Santino and Cesaro versus Kofi and R Truth on Raw. bad. That was interesting. It furthered the uh, Kofi and Santino feud. Kofi's going to get it pretty soon. Uh oh. Vincent Ken Shamrock? Okay, well, I guess Ken Sh Santino is a shooter. He does have a legit background. Holy fuck, they are beating the shit out of Santino. I mean, no, uh, Hunico. Hunico just got told. Holy shit. So maybe you do Santino and, uh... Santino, Cesaro, and Shamrock? Maybe? Against R-Truth, Kofi, and, uh... Somebody. Alright, main event, Kane versus Undertaker. If it was any other show, I would do that match, but like I said, it's NXT. So, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a title match. We're going to do a U.S. title match. Uh, because it's been brought to my attention that Crimson has not defended the belt at all since he's won it. Uh, so thank you, whoever reminded me in the comment. It was on, like, part 50-something, I think. Um... So yeah, it's gonna be Crimson versus good old good old gender. Don't hinder the gender. All right, there we go. Gonna have the foreign heel going after the U.S. title. Like the Sheik held the U.S. title for like twenty something years in Detroit. If you've ever seen that creepy ass match on uh. Oh, what is it? I think it was Big Time Wrestling. It's on those wrestling gold tapes. Uh, it was Mark Lewin against the Sheik in a in a Loser Leafs Town match. It was amazing. It's so creepy, though. When I was, like, a kid, I... Because, like, Mark Lewin was like... Yeah, it's something wrong. And he was, like, flopping all over in the crowd and everything freaking the fans out some old lady was screaming it's awesome and wrestling was awesome back then I, w I would have loved to have been alive during the 70s for like the funk era and era and all that that would have been so cool like Ric Flair's first go around you know as, as the oh, NWA Lucas champion and everything United States, making his way to the 
United States champion. He is the United States champion, Crimson. Crimson. Hopefully they have Lily Garcia back, and I don't have to listen to. I think it's the fake. I don't think fakes on everything though. Crimson uh, just had. Crimson's doing stuff in uh, Tennessee now for NWA Southern All Star Wrestling. Uh, he was in OVW, but he got released from uh, TNA, and then started doing stuff in. Uh, he did some shows in Lafayette, Louisiana, which is like about uh, two and a half, two hours away from me. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty good. So, but then he just had knee surgery, so he's out for a little while. All right, so we got Jinder Mahal coming out now. Like I said, don't hinder the gender. All right, here we go, U.S. champ. We, we, we've seen this a gazillion times. So Alright, here we go. Match. Remember, what's at stake U.S. Here? title match. The shit is on. Gonna work on that arm. What a fierce kick. Young blood controlling the head. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh, the punch connects. Oh. Oh, jeez! And he lands in a heat. I wish I could... I, I couldn't find... I, I really wanted to do... Uh... Crimson's gimmick from OVW where he was like this, uh... War hero, but he was, an, he was a dick about it. So, uh... Like, if there were any... Uh, OVW has this guy who was a one-legged, uh... Veteran. And he had his leg, uh... Amputated because of an injury he had in, uh, Iraq. So, you know, he comes in and he's like, oh, well, you're not a real hero. You know, and, and everybody's like, what? You know, it was like this big thing. He was like, you're not a war hero. Even though the guy had his leg, you know, amputated because of something that happened over in Iraq. So he just became this massive heel. And uh, there ended up being a lot of guys who uh, actually served in the military in OVW at the time. So what they did was they uh, cr joined Crimson. And they're like, yeah, this guy's not a real war hero and everything like that. So they had like uh, a big, like a five on five, well, a five man team. And what happened was uh, a bunch of people joined up with, uh, this guy's name was, believe it or not, Michael Hayes. And uh, it ended up doing a thing where uh, he had to get a foreign guy uh, who was, believe it or not, uh, Iraqi. Oh, no. What the hell? So it was this big, but the Iraqi guy was like, you know, I respect him for everything he did, blah, 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 you know, he's a good guy, you know, I don't, you know, you don't, it, it was just really good, you know, like he was like, I don't blame him for everything that happened in my country, stuff like that, so it was really good, so they ended up becoming tag team partners, and they ended up eventually doing this, uh, war games, uh, it was Michael Hayes, and uh, Muhammad Ali Vaez and I forget the other three people but it was against uh, the coalition of Crimson, Jason Wayne uh, and the Marauders alright there we go Crimson retains and uh, so it, it was really good and then uh, unfortunately right when the feud finished they uh they had to drop the southern tag titles crimson and jason wayne did because crimson got released uh so the feud really could have gone on for much much longer if they wanted to but that really screwed up everything and i was hoping they would have a, a good jason wayne on here that way we could continue it or you know continue the tag team at least because 
a lot of my videos don't have good tag teams. You know, it's just hard time players, Luke Harper, Usos. So, but hopefully on this 2K14, there'll be a lot more people I can do tag teams with. All right, so Crimson retains the United States title. That's his first title defense in God knows how long since he's had the belt. All right, so that was the end of the show for this week. And we're going to go uh, check the rankings and see what we can build up to. Of course, the 10-man Royal Rumble will take place on Raw. Or, excuse me, SmackDown. Which will be uh, in just a few seconds. Let's see rankings. All right, so for the world champ or WWE championship, we got Tenzai, Jericho, JBL, and Brodus. Remember, it's being built up as JBL and CM Punk. Uh, we got Zack Ryder, Shane Williams, Santino, and Brodus Clay as the top contenders there for the U.S. title. So all four of those guys will be in the battle royal. Uh. The Wyatt Family are the Tag Team Champions. We've got Primo and Epico, uh, Cesaro and Swagger, Primetime Players, and The Empire. And then we got Nikki Bella, Karma, Mia Yim, and Brie Bella. And over on SmackDown, we've got Daniel Bryan as the Champion, Edge, Big Show, Dolph, and Sheamus. So you're looking at one of those guys at SummerSlam getting a shot at Daniel Bryan. And we got Yoshitatsu, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, and Dolph Ziggler against Gold Dust for the Intercontinental title. Probably going to be maybe Dolph. Maybe Dolph. Because uh, I'm thinking Edge versus Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. So that's what we're looking at right now. We're going to get this show started. And